Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name's Tyrone and this is a year in review. Uh, this one is Matchbox Collectors Series from Mattel and it's covering everything they produced and released in 2022. Got a list next to me. I don't have a photographic memory. In fact, I don't have a very good memory at all. So we'll go by the list. They actually only released 18 of 20. So uh, on the card it used to so it does say um, in this case 13 of 20, but there were only ever 18 released in 2022. Starting with this one in at number one, it is the 2020 Ram Rebel, a new casting for 2022. It's got an opening hood, a bit flappy the hood. Um, a little bit of detail on the engine clunk but uh, lovely blacked out wheels do you know there's a auto world version of these big trucks um, I won't bring it out because you know it's oranges and oranges and apples isn't it you should never put an auto world next to anything really maybe a green light but that's about it certainly not a matchbox or a hot wheels it's just not fair. 2020 Ram Rebel. Uh, it is a 2021 copyright. It's lovely. Ram on the tailgate. Nice. I like it. That's number one. Uh, all of these have rubberized tires. They're a two-piece premium job, aren't they? Uh, number two got to be careful because uh, a couple of times down this list it's just missing one and I don't want to call this three when it's two but it is indeed number two it's the 1982 Datsun 200 uh, 280ZX probably the best looking one they've released there's a few now but this is the best massive doors on these things terrible in car parks anything any sports car that's two-door um, they're fun they're sleek and they look cool but horrible in uh, in car parks always you get parked next to a little too close got to do a Cirque du Soleil to get back into it I'll climb through the window or something white base cool wheels on these really cool Everything about this uh, color scheme is pretty cool. And black interior just tops it off. That's number two. Number three is something a little bit funky. Um, pretty to look at, but um, I've never aspired to own something like this. Maybe I'm just a little bit too working class for, for my own good. Um, that goes up a little higher. Plenty going on and under there. What do you see? Yep. Pretty good view. I mean, they'd feel like a little rocket ship, wouldn't they? Uh, if you were privileged enough to be able to sit in one, let alone drive one or own one. What is it? It's the 2019 Pagani Hira, if that's how you say it, Roadster. We'll just go for Pagani Roadster, shall we? It's sleek. I'm sure they're quick. I'm sure they're expensive too. That was number three. Number four, step forward, young fella. It's the 2015 Jaguar F-Type Coupe. Now, weirdly, to me anyway, these were um, uh, peg warmers. So strange. I don't get it. Where is the opening part? There is no opening part. Huh. It's rubberized ties. Maybe that's why they were peg warmers. Oh, that's odd. Should this even be in the collector series? I've just worked it out. It took me a year. <laughs> but I've worked it out. No opening parts. Didn't impress. I still like it. I think that back end on the real thing and on this casting is just to die for. Just love it. 
and uh, they've accentuated this one with those lines, the tempos. So cool. It's got rapid tires, what do you want? But yeah, no opening parts. I kind of prefer it to be honest. Some of the opening parts they have on these things. Um, so yeah, that's the Jag. That was in at number four. Number five is the Honda, one extreme to the other, from Jag to Dag. This is very daggy, but at least we do have an opening part. Blown the tire, look under the bonnet for your spare. Little clunk, cute little clunk. See the headlights? They just go through the holes. Peekaboo. Really sweet little thing. 1963 Honda T360 on the base, 2020 copyright. Yeah, funny little thing. And is that it is in shot. Next, next. Number six in the 20 lineup is the 1935 Ford pickup. A little street rod. Moon eyes on the doors. Yellow back wheel and blacked out front wheels. I like it. Low slung. A bit of chrome here and there, and that silhouette black with the yellow to top it all off. Cool grill and shiny, shiny base. That's nice. They did a really good job of that one. We'll start a new row, shall we? We'll keep that box there. I won't bring out all the boxes. Uh, next one is number seven. We still haven't uh, skipped one yet. It's the Dodge Charger Pursuit. Probably the best looking cop car Matchbox did in um, 2022. And again, do we have it? No, we didn't have an opening part on this either. Was that a peg warmer? I didn't think so. I had a little bit of trouble finding this one. Hmm. I like it very much. But yeah, maybe that's what makes a uh, collector series matchbox a pair warmer. People want that opening part. Really not fussed myself. I just like a good looking car and uh, usually the opening part just puts a little bit too much complication to it and uh, something goes wrong. <laughs> Stay police on this one. And Mm, that's probably a state. You can probably read that on your mega screen at home. <coughs> uh, next one is a Subaru. Do we miss one? No, not yet. This is number eight, so perfect uh, continuum so far. 1995 Subaru SVX. Great paint job. Love this sort of a greeny blue, isn't it? Yeah, it's more green than blue. There may be a blue version of this tint out there somewhere. Not in Matchbox, but in real life. That um, Subaru love to do, apart from their standardized blue. Love that. Falcon tires. Other sponsors. He says coyly because you can't read <laughs> them. Plastic base. Um, I think they're all plastic base. Mm, yeah, they are. Um, 2018 copyright yeah, funky really cool and uh, the white tires uh, the top of the white wheels do it justice as well 1964 Chevy C10 long bed in at number nine still don't have a gap I promise you there are two gaps this one's got the patina and uh, the massive slab of a bonnet clunk when they get this right, it looks okay. This one looks okay. Um, you know, it's it's not a fifteen dollar car by any stretch of the imagination, but um, they still managed it. Bit of age, bit of character. Uncolored plastic base. Cool old truck. You don't mess with people that drive trucks like that, in my experience. Not that I chase after them to have a conversation with them. Um, number 10 is this fella, and we all know the saga with these ones, don't we? 
if uh, you're a completist, this is your uh, destiny, shall we say. Four versions of, I have two at the moment, headlights up, headlights down, but each comes in left-hand drive, right-hand drive, we all know. Um, or if you're new to that party, sorry. It's got uh, white five spokes, six spokes, count them, and uh, they did the, a pretty good job on these doors. Sometimes it's not the case, but on this one they nailed it. Yeah, solid little casting. Should we just put one there for the end shot? Um, who's next? Uh, it's the NASA SEV chariot in at number 11. Strange looking fella. NASA on the roof and on the sides. Not sure I'd want to go to the moon. Yeah, generations after us will be uh, keen to do it, I'm sure. And generations after them will be uh, a bit bored of the moon. Imagine that. Oh, I'm not going to the moon this year. It's like going to Bali, isn't it? Um, number 12 is the drag beetle. This is a great looking thing. Remember the one they brought out for the Mattel Creations? The green one? I like this just as much, and it's cheaper. Fantastic car scheme. So glad they brought this casting back. This is from when, early 70s, the original. Moon eyes, tinted windows, and the parachute at the back, incorporated in the hinge. Fantastic love that thing. Give us more of that please. Number 13 is the Ford GT40. I only recently got this one. Um, I did a video called uh, Filling in the Gaps and this was one of them that I was aching for but missed out on until now. Well, until then. It's uh, the opening back end to reveal an engine. No colour details there but there's plenty of details all around the vehicle. Pretty glad to have that. It actually goes well with the moon eyes. Who's next please? Step forward. Uh, number 14. Ah, just uh, before the first missing one. Uh, this one isn't missing. Yeah, 14 it's the 2021 Ford Bronco. The little stubby version with the opening doors. Blacked out wheels and a few splashes of colour. So it can be seen in those shadows. Ooh, that tire just did a funky. Hmm. Gee, that's lucky. I thought that wheel had caved in, but the tire just decided to take a holiday. Fixed. Good looking vehicle. A lot of good looking vehicles. They um they really choose them well when they go premiere. So number 15 was not produced by Matchbox, sorry. Number 16 was, it's the Lamborghini Diablo. Diablo means devil, doesn't it? And here we have a okay level of detail on the engine. Again, you know, these aren't expensive toys, cars, models, collectors items. They're, um, they're not a huge investment, so I'm quite impressed with the level of detail they put on these. They uh, put a bit of love into it. Strange looking, isn't it? You know, it's it's of its time, obviously, but uh, you look at the, the Lambo these days, and it's nothing like this at all. I still like it. Uh, that was 16, and now we have 17, the Plymouth. Kind of funky, it's the 1962 Plymouth Savoy. We've um, seen a white one and a black one of this, haven't we? Was there another colour? Maybe there was. They're the two that spring to mind, but here we have a very bombastic version. Lots of detail. Pedal Beast. I like this one. B 
beast on the license plate. Nice blue too. Not crazy colours, but uh, in keeping with the kind of race and car it is. Beautiful. Uh, um, 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 2015 Mazda MX-5 Miata is the next one in at number 18. And again, they've, uh, they've really done a wonderful job of this one. Even the street version, the mainline version of this car, they've done a fantastic job of. They do beautiful colours, but here we have so much more detail. Kind of a matte white on some flashy red stripes and those wheels just fit perfectly under the arches. So cool. Those red rims just popping. Great interior too, as far as the modern interiors go. In 1 to uh, 64. 2015 Mazda Miata, MX-5 Miata. And uh, it's a 2015 copyright. That's one of the best ones. Number 19. And the last one, sadly, because number 20 is missing, was not released, was not produced by Matchbox, but in at number 19 of 20 is the 2016 Chevy Corvette Stingray. A reverse opening bonnet on this one with a pretty well detailed engine. They did a really good job on that one. If you're wondering what happened with the camera angle, etc., um, the camera died, so I took the opportunity to pretty up the table for you. But there we have it, the 2016 Corvette Stingray rounding out 18 of the 20 that they did release for the 2022 Matchbox Collector Series. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoy all of my videos, and I hope you come back really soon. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.